He, he said that he would. Uh, he always wanted to go up and look down on earth and say, <laughs> "I live there." Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and uh, he's very uh, avid. Um, we were talking to a reader earlier on about the Titanic. He's got all the albums and volumes of the films that were made. He was, he was really keen on space. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah. he loved Star Trek. He loved uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and uh, everything to do with space. Yeah, yeah. And, so. and he loved America too. He, uh, we've always lived in the UK, but yeah. he travelled out to Florida a few times yeah. with us. And he loved stories of the Wild West. So we're going to do the Billy the Kid tour after this yeah, in his yeah. memory as well, because he would have loved that. Yeah, yeah it's a pretty he's not here. Um, and so, how then did it feel to see the uh, to hear the last few seconds of the countdown and then oh, to see it? Oh, terrific, terrific! It was we're, brilliant. We're both crying. <laughs> to be able to actually see it go, I mean, it's just so much worth coming here. Yeah, you know, we wondered whether you know we've travelled thousands of miles, but, but it, was it was definitely well worth it. it to yeah, absolutely, see him. the atmosphere and the, and the build up to it, and you know, it's it was it's great. Just, it's really. part of his dream, and we've been able to fulfil yeah, that. Yeah, that's point. it. Yeah, so that's wonderful. We had the pleasure of uh, seeing him go further than we'll ever go. Yeah, I could, I could recommend this for anyone. I mean, yes, it's yeah. uh, maybe not so well known, certainly in the UK, but uh, we researched the, the internet, <laughs> wonderful thing, yeah, found it, and we're just so glad we did because this was the only way that we could get anywhere near getting his dream fulfilled for him. That's it. So is there kind of a mix then of maybe uh, emotion and exhilaration and everything else? A bit, of, yes. a, a, a yeah. bit of both. Uh, well, a bit of all, actually, Harvey. It's, it's just been terrific. You know, really good, and the people we've met has been, you know, the terrific, like yourself, really kind and thoughtful. And Celeste's doing everything so tastefully. It's, it's yeah, been really, really good. good. It's a very kind, very thoughtful. I mean, yeah. you know, you miss him and uh, you cry because he's not here anymore, but uh, you're happy that you've been able to do yes. something for him. Yeah, yeah and, that's uh, true. This, I guess, this is the only way he would have ever gone into space. So, yeah. he's been able to do that. <laughs> Yeah, very sure. what, you, what would you say to other people that might be thinking about it? They've, they've maybe heard about it, but they wonder if it's sort of right for them or if it's. I don't Go know, and do it. Or, Go and do it. Yes. That's the thing. We Go would recommend this yeah. to recommend so many people that we've spoken yeah. to have not known about it and have said, that's just a brilliant idea. Yeah. And anything else that you'd, uh, you'd say to us or to anyone else that's uh, watching? It was a terrifically um, well informed, we were well contacted. Uh, Reader can't fault anything at all. Only thing is that he's not with us. You know, that's the only thing, because everything else was good. The people, the poem that was selected for him was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we know. were helped through even the stage of preparing a little statement about him. And uh, yeah. a, a poem from Longfellow was found by one of the Celeste staff. Which yeah, was, which was excellent. It was perfect really. because it matched yeah. his interest in archery yeah. Yeah. and his hope to travel.